Hey everybody, it is bedtime with Pastor Tim. Thank you for the smalls for doing yesterday's video. I'm waiting to get one from the cuttings. And if anybody else would like to do one, I know Nania's, you've been watching, whoever else has been watching, uh, let me know that you like to do one. I can tell you how to get it to me and uh, we can share each other's bedtime routines that way. Or even if it's uh, an adult that's out there watching and you want to read a story or or share a bedtime message, that would be fine. Um, I don't have a whole lot of children's books. And so what I did, I ordered some from 1517 Media and Beaming Books. And they are the ELCA's publishing house. And in this, I'm going to show you all these books that I got. The Preschool Bible. God's Protection Covers Me. Rufus and the Scary Storm. Happy Birthday, Ava. This is the church. You are so wonderful. Little Mole Finds Hope. Ugh. After the Rain. Picturing God. One more. What? I got to read it. What's in your mind today? So we have so many books to be reading through when it comes to bedtime. I am excited to read all of these with you. I thought maybe a good one today would be uh, Rufus and the Scary Storm, a book about being brave. All right? So let's see how this one goes. I've never read it. I was hoping maybe you could hear... Uh, the binding break. Hey, look, there's Sam in the background getting his Saturday morning donut. <laughs> Here we go. Rufus always tried hard to be brave. He liked to think he was the strongest, bravest puppy in the world. One day, Rufus was feeling especially strong. He lifted a giant branch above his head, and his friends were impressed. Hey guys, watch this, Rufus shouted as he held up two big rocks. But his friends weren't paying any attention. Joe and Ava were staring at the sky. Look, Rufus, Ava called out, the sky is getting dark. Joe pointed, clouds are moving in. I think it's going to rain. Rufus looked at the sky. It was getting dark. The clouds were moving in. And now the wind was howling too. Just then it thundered and Rufus covered his ears. Lightning flashed across the sky and Rufus closed his eyes tight. Rain started to fall and one drop landed right on Rufus's nose. More drops landed on his ears. Come on, Rufus, Ava yelled. We better get inside until this storm passes. Ava and Joe giggled toward a stable. Oh, they ran giggling toward a stable. Can you see them running and giggling? Rufus ran after his friends, but he wasn't giggling. He was whimpering. Rufus hated storms. Do you like storms or do you not like storms? Ava and Joe settled on the ground in the stable to wait for the storm to pass. Joe started to juggle some pebbles. Ava grabbed a stick to draw on the dirt. They were finding things to do during the storm. Rufus couldn't play. He cowered in a corner. Outside, the rain kept falling, the lightning kept flashing, and the thunder kept crashing. Every time the thunder crashed, Rufus's whole body trembled. He looked at his friends. How come, how can you play right now, he asked. Aren't you afraid of the storm? I'm not afraid of storm, said Ava, but I am afraid of other things, like crossing the stream. I don't want to fall in and get wet. Me too, Joe said. I don't like climbing up high, and I'm afraid to fall. I'm afraid of noisy storms, Rufus admitted. 
He was so ashamed. He wanted his friends to think he was big and brave. But Ava and Joe didn't make fun of him. It's okay to feel afraid, Rufus, Ava said. Everybody gets scared sometimes, but God watches over us when we're afraid. We can trust God. Rufus inched to the edge of the stable and looked outside. Dear God, sometimes I get afraid. Please help me to trust you when I'm scared. Amen. Rufus looked, opened his eyes and looked at his friends. He felt a little better. Then he saw something leaning in the corner of the stable and he got an idea. Look what I can do, he said. Wow, said Ava and Joe. Rufus felt like the bravest puppy in the world again. What was Rufus doing? He's playing. Sometimes it's, we're scared, aren't we? Maybe you're scared right now because you're supposed to be in school, but you're not in school or things are a little bit different. And if you're nervous or scared about it, that's okay. But we're going to pray and ask God to be with us during those times that we're scared. But before we do that, I have a song to sing you that I learned at camp. I used to be able to play it on the guitar, but I don't think I can anymore. But this is how it goes. It's called Light the Fire. I stand to praise you, but I fall down on my knees. My spirit is willing, but my flesh is so weak. So light the fire in my soul, fan the flame, make me whole. Lord, you know just where I've been. So light the fire in my heart again. I feel your arms around me as the power of your healing begins. Your spirit moves through me like a mighty rushing wind. So light the fire in my soul, fan the flames, make me whole. Lord, you know just where I've been, so light the fire in my heart again. Now remember, before we go to bed, we always end with a cross. So right now, whoever you're with, make a cross on their forehead. Let them make a cross on your forehead. And listen to these words. You are a beloved child of God, marked with the cross of Christ forever and sealed with the Holy Spirit. There is nothing you can do to separate yourself from the love of God or your families. Thanks for watching. Sleep well, and I look forward to seeing you again.